Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to protect your raised beds from animals that may burrow in from beneath the beds and animals that may come in from the top like squirrels and they often come into my bed will take my sweet potatoes. We're just going to use fencing. I recommend getting fencing that is coated. It'll last longer and we're going to put it into the bottom of the bed. We're going to put it into the top of the bed. I'll show you how to do that. And just one tip, if you're building a raised bed, build it the width of the material that you want to use. This way it'll be nice and easy to lay down. So I wanted to take a second and cut in because it was confusing to some people. I'm actually relaunching this video. Based on the kind of critter you have, you may want a space like this, or you're going to want something smaller. And if you go to the smallest animals that usually are a problem, they're called voles. They're like little uh, tiny mice, field mice. You're going to want to use something called hardware cloth. Nice small squares that are hard to put your finger in. And if you're going to do it right, you'd actually want to lay this out first. Have a couple inches coming out away from the raised bed and then drop the raised bed on there and just pull it along the bottom. So your raised bed would be sitting on it. And this is going to stop the smallest of critters from getting in. If your raised bed is already in and you can't lift it or pull it out, then you're just going to cut it to size, just like down in the bottom there, and just make sure it presses up against the board tightly. You're going to need wire cutters and you're basically cutting your fencing piece, your wire down, to something that will fit into your raised bed. Now, it's going to come in different sizes when you go to buy it, meaning the spacing can be something smaller, like right here, or something wider. Again, I'm going to be using this primarily to keep squirrels from getting to my sweet potatoes, so the bigger squares work for me. And right over here on my fence, you can see smaller spacing, so it really depends on what kind of animal is coming in. Recommend if you can and you have lots of choices get the smallest possible if you end up with something like this and say the squares are too large We would then flip another piece coming this way and just stagger the wiring across so we could do two layers and make the spacing smaller and to drop it in You're just folding it up along the edges and you want it really close to the edges Again if you get something that's coated it will last longer you could use chicken wire but you know, once you fill this with you know 12 inches of earth, you really don't want to dig it out. This is just going to get filled normally with uh, you know my topsoil and my peat moss and the kind of stuff I do. I'm going to be doing a video on taking care of this one and doing a no-dig layering method again and showing you how you can put mulch way down at the bottom. If you know, you see some on here. We're going to dig out another four to six inches and put a thick layer of mulch to uh, help manage moisture in a future video. But it's pretty simple, but it is a bit of hard work because if you've got raised beds, you're going to have to dig the dirt out and you're going to have to drop the wire down. So let's get to the top. I'll show you how I make the uh, top piece. And the top is pretty simple too. If you're growing smaller plants, maybe lettuces, you can use something like this. If you're growing tomatoes and vine crops, you want something wider. Squirrels, rabbits, this will keep them away. They're not going to really be able to dig into here. They're not going to like the wire. Rabbits will not walk across this. So a little bit overlap on the sides. You just bend it down. That will secure it. I had to do a little cutout because of my cattle panel right there. But you can see, generally speaking, you would just let it come out to the edge. And the hardest part really is to make the flap right here to come down. We're just going to make cuts right here in a corner and two snips and you would just press it down like that cut the excess piece off and that's how you work around the corners and then you would just press it down you want this to be able to come off easily so you're just going to leave it on there if it's kind of buckling just pull the wire up stretch it around to what fits. You could put a screw down right here if you wanted to. Something that's not too complicated so you could take this off um, easily when you want to get to harvest. But this is the best way to deal with animals that come up from the bottom, animals that come from the top, and this will work and it'll be very very effective. So I hope this gives you some ideas of how to deal with burrowing animals, animals that come in across the top. I do recommend a 10 to 12 inch raised bed. This will work with any size. The root systems will grow down past the wire in the bottom, so you don't need to worry about that. And hopefully this helps you deal with those pests that you can't really do much about um, unless you trap them or use poisons. This is really, really effective. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe to my channel. You can fill this bed again however you want, but we're going to do this bed in a way that we're building um, 
the wood chips hardwood down at the bottom to create a moisture reservoir. And just hold water in here. So it's great for areas that have droughts. And as the wood chips decay over time, they're going to feed back to your plants, and that will go on for years. Thanks again for watching, and please subscribe to the Rustic Garden Homestead.